Alec Baldwin's accidental shooting on the movie Rust is now being exposed by the FBI. Authorities in Santa Fe have a new lead and recently executed a search warrant for a local ammunition supplier. But first, we have some very exciting news for you. Our IO Elite channel is growing and with your help we can hit our next big milestone. So tap that link in the description below to go see what all the buzz is about. Now the biggest question on a lot of people's minds that are following this case at least is how did live rounds end up on the set of a movie? Well now it turns out that the investigators are going to be taking a closer look into the ammo supplier for the film. Following all of the news about what took place on the set of Rust, Alec Baldwin tweeted out his condolences to Helena Hudgens' family and said, There are no words to convey my shock and sadness regarding the tragic accident that took the life of Helena Hutchins, a wife, mother, and deeply admired colleague of ours. I'm fully cooperating with the police investigation to address how this tragedy occurred and I am in touch with her husband, offering my support to him and his family. My heart is broken for her husband, their son, and all who knew and loved Helena. Alec had accidentally taken the life of Helena Hutchins, a 42-year-old married mother of two and director of photography on the film. The single round that was fired from the prop managed to strike both Hutchins and the movie's director, 48-year-old Joel Souza. According to a witness, the single bullet struck Helena in the body and then pierced Joel's clavicle. Hutchins was then airlifted to the hospital but was later pronounced dead. Joel Souza was also rushed to the hospital but was later released in the evening. According to the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, Local 44, they claimed in an email that the incident was an accidental weapons discharge and then went on to say, a live single round was accidentally fired on set by the principal actor hitting both the director of photography, Local 600 member Helena Hutchins, and director Joel Souza. Local 44 has confirmed that the props, set decorations, special effects, and construction departments were staffed by New Mexico crew members. There were no Local 44 members on the call sheet. And that first part though is the important part here. They confirmed that it was a live single round. Witness reports also told the press that Baldwin could be heard asking the people around him why he had been handed a hot weapon, going on to say, in all my years I've never been handed a hot weapon. According to this new search warrant, New Mexico detectives have interviewed a man named Seth Kenny, who was one of the ammunition suppliers that the head armor Hannah Reed had used on the set of Rust. When authorities were speaking with Hannah's father, Thel Reed, who was also an experienced armorer, Thel said he had worked with Seth on a different production before this. And here's where things get interesting. According to Thel, Seth had brought a can of about 200 to 300 rounds of live ammunition on that first production. He claimed it was for the purpose of weapons training, but when the training was completed, Thel said that Seth just took the remaining bullets. However, he also claimed that some of them included live Colt 45 ammo, which coincidentally was the same type of ammunition that Baldwin had fired on the set. So Mr. Reed believes that if the authorities check Thel's leftover ammo from his production, it might be a match with the projectile that took the life of Helena Hutchins. In addition to that, the police also spoke with the Rust prop master Sarah Zachary, who told them that she had double checked the ammo box after what happened to Helena. According to Sarah, she found some bullets that rattled indicating their dummy rounds and others that did not which led her to believe that there were even more live rounds in the box. Previously, Hannah's attorney proposed a theory that perhaps a disgruntled crew member had intentionally brought live ammo onto the set, but this was dismissed by the district attorney. By executing this new search warrant though, sheriffs have taken a huge step forward in figuring out how this live ammo ended up on the movie set. The expectation now is that the FBI will be comparing and analyzing the live rounds that they've seized to determine where they came from. But for now, that's all the time that we have for you today. Stay classy and I'll see you on the next one.